The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio. Yo, special guest back in the building. My guy, RJ, is here. Let's new spot, it. new vibes. How yeah, you feeling, yeah, bro? I feel good. Congratulations on all your success, bro, too. I've been watching you, Gabe, and going crazy. Uh, thank you, bro. Yeah, and congratulations yeah, so. to you because we can finally talk about yeah. it. Um, you are officially announcing that we are signed to uh, Rock Nation. Congratulations, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, appreciate it, We didn't get bro. to talk about this last time. Nah, nah, nah. But, uh... It, I'm blessed, bro, for real. Like, you know, that's been the goal, you know, all this time to to, to be with a solid team. And with it being rock, you know, it feel, it feel legendary. So I feel like I'm on top, bro. It's a good feeling. It's now is the perfect time to let y'all know that, yeah, we, we mean business. I mean business. Mm. Like, for real. It's, so the announcement was more like, oh, let's wait until we have the project done. Yeah, or or, or really just when we got something cohesive together that, that we ready to give to the world. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the project, you know, it's, it's big. You know, we got some big names on it. Like, it's... It was just waiting for that monumental moment, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This, this is it. You know, we feel like this is the one. I think like one, how did how does Rock First approach you? Because I'm interested to see how that like works out. Obviously, with you know, because Young Boy, I think is with Capital Atlantic. Atlantic. I think. Oh, he's really still with Atlantic. I think so. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, wherever he's at now, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, how does that work with that too? Um. So, so you know, when I first when I first was getting the calls and stuff about, you know, being signed to different labels, of course, like, different labels hit me up and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but, you know, I, at the end of the day, it just came down to me and, you know, my manager it just came down to me and Fee of what the best situation um, to me would be because, you know, I signed with YB, but it was more so like a um, a deal to where he, he would just help, you know what I'm saying, put the music out there and stuff like that, so it wasn't nothing like I was trapped into a situation to where I couldn't do my own thing. You right. know what I'm saying? So when Rock called, I felt like that was the perfect move for me to go, you know, follow through with it for sure. Mm -hmm. And we okay. kind of we kind of just been doing our own thing, me and my, my little team. Right. Yeah. So you're still with YB, but it doesn't, like, the Rock stuff doesn't change anything. Yeah, nah, nah. Or YB uh, stuff doesn't change yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, it don't change nothing. That's more so like an affiliation. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my brother. That's more so like... Like that, yeah. That's fine. So we got the project on the way, like you said. Yeah, so that's why yeah. we're announcing this now. Yep, yep, um, yep. Super dope. Uh, I'm very excited. What are we calling the project? You're the problem. You're the problem. Yeah. Why? Why you're the problem? <laughs> uh, First of all, who hurt you to say that? <laughs> For you to say that to somebody, that's what I want to know. Man, I've been hurt by so many people, so many different avenues. But um, I named it "You're the Problem," man, because. You know, during the making of this project, it was all it was it was mental warfare for real. Like you know, just coming up with the records and stuff like that. And I was going through a pretty dark time at the time. You know what I'm saying? Just dealing with all type of different relationships, not just females, but friends, uh, family. You know, with the with the fame being a new thing. So, you know what I'm saying? The the, the project is a it's full circle, man, and it's kind of a a reflection of myself. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. at the end of the day, I be feeling like I'm the problem. You know what I'm saying? So it's a real confrontational, love and war type of project, and uh. It's real dope. Like all the way through, it's 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 good. It's good. Is it like your? So you're saying like your as like a self reflective thing, but also like exactly. as an outward reflective thing, exactly. like the people around you, exactly or relationships you've been everything, in, bro. Like yeah, because I touch on so many different stories and and so many different topics within this project, and you'll hear it. Like I said, some records are, are more confrontational than others, but it all just tied back into you know self reflection and accountability. At the end of the day. Mm, okay, yeah. okay. So, yeah. uh, is A Boogie joined on the project? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, dope, man, yeah. dope. Yeah, I'm... we just shot the video for that, too. Um, where were <clears> we <throat> when we shot that? It was somewhere in Manhattan going crazy, you know? It was fire. Um, but that, that's that been a long time coming, too, because I think the last time that I was here, we was talking about, you know, A Boogie, but I, I had that, I think I had that record, but... You know what I'm saying? We were still trying to decide where we was going to put it at and stuff like that. And my fans know I've been tapped in with Boogie for a while, so it's a real special moment for real for us to have this record. That's fine. I was about to say, like, I'm sure you've been itching to drop that one for quite what? a bit of time yeah, now, too. Yeah, yeah, so. facts, facts. Because, like I said, that's my bro, and, and we've been trying to do something for a while now. But, again, with this album coming out, it's the perfect time to just go ahead and put that on there. It's going to be crazy. Where, is he, like, the only person? Are you going to have, like, other people on it, too? Like Nah, yeah, I got... um. I got YB on there too, okay. of course. Um, a couple artists from my city, 4 AM, Holly Grove. Yeah, yeah, I got a couple, couple joints. Oh, on so you also helping put some people on? Yeah, yeah, of too. course. Hell yeah, of course. Especially with this being like my first project on the label, I had to, mm. you know what I'm saying, tap in with some of the guys back home. You know, we got a lot of talented people in New Orleans. Right. With the self reflective stuff, like, what do you feel like you had to reflect on with this project? Like, what, what is that? Like, you know, we're talking about mirroring, yeah. right? Like, looking at like you're the problem. Yeah. So, like, how do you feel like? And aspects of your life, like you've been the problem. 
in a lot of situations. In a lot of aspects, you know what I'm saying? Especially with me being older now, um, I start to take accountability for a lot of actions. So a lot of the relationships that I that I'm talking about, like even though it went bad, you know, and it might have not have been all my fault, I'm able to stand back and, and and be able to learn something from situations instead of always just being like, man, fuck that shit, like man, that shit wasn't me. Like, you know what I'm saying? In every situation I'm able to look at it like, okay. Where did I go wrong in the situation? You know what I'm saying? I think it's like I said, it's just all about growth and and just taking accountability and and, and everything. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I'm not perfect. Right? How, not perfect. Do, you, is, do you feel like this album was part of your healing with that? Hell yeah, for sure. I feel so much better now that it's about to be out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I feel like it was therapeutic just just making it. Um, for sure, it definitely was a was a healing process. Word. Yeah. You were talking about a boogie, right? Mm-hmm. So. I th- I think one of my things, right, because because your man's been in the news a lot lately, right, mm-hmm. with all, the whole you know thing with Dirk and whatnot. How does that like? Because obviously, a boogie fucks with Dirk, right? Mm-hmm. So like, how do you kind of navigate like the dealing with the politics of like you know artists and those type of situations? Like, I'm not saying that he would have necessarily have a problem with you fucking with Boogie because you fucking with Boogie has nothing to do with Boogie yeah. fucking with Dirk. But like, how do you go about navigating through those waters? Because that can get like I'm I'm sure for you too. Like you think about it because. It could be tricky sometimes. Too. Yeah, yeah. That's I don't know, man. I feel like like you said, just the, the I don't I try not to pay too much attention to the politics. It's hip hop at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. You know, it's gonna be beefs, it's gonna be problems and shit like that. But you know, I'm my own person at the end of the day, I'm my own artist at the end of the day. Right. I always have my own connections and shit like that. So as far as just navigating, I just try to try to be in environments where I feel like I'm comfortable and I feel like I don't have to you know, I don't have to be pressed by the situations that, mm-hmm. that, you know, is being caused or whatever. But I don't really, I try not to just pay too much attention to it and just, you know, do my own thing. Because, like, again, like, it's hip-hop. It's, this type of shit is inevitably going to happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, as far as, like, boogie and shit, like I said, that's been my bro. Like, you know, niggas know that, like, I've been tapped in over there, so it's good. You know, I try not to too much get into all the beefs and all of that type of shit. Right, I was going to say, like, do you ever feel like, oh, like, because, like, you know, like, whatever he's going through and whatever he's dealing yeah, with, not, like, does that ever trickle down to, like, yes. you and the other guys who are so, under... So don't get me wrong, like, you know, there's certain people, like, I just can't be around, like, you know what I'm saying? There's certain things that I just will refuse to say <laughs> and, and, and shit like that because I just, I'm a smart dude, like, you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. want to move smart. But for the better half of it, man, like, like, nah, not everything that's being said, you know, is 100% what I... You know what I'm saying? Because I've been listening to Drake since I was a, a you know what I'm a saying? Kid, yeah, a kid, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So that's my idol. That's still somebody I want to. You did the Drake beat the last yeah, time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's still somebody that I really want to work with and shit like that. So when it comes to shit like that, I kind of just like, uh, <laughs> right, right, right. I ain't really. Like, obviously, like, like your loyalty's there, but like not everything that he says affects what you do. You yeah, basically. Saying? You know what I'm saying? I still try to do my own thing at the end of the day, for right. sure. I was gonna say, like, do you guys ever have to like do you ever have to like talk about things like that too? Or like, as far you speak like, to him? Uh no, 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 no. You kinda but, have like the free range you just Yeah, do, yeah. Do, okay, but whenever free. like like, you know, there's certain artists that I fuck with that, you know, he might not fuck with. But if my manager see me like liking they shit or something, <laughs> they'll be like, yo, like, like chill, like we don't you know what I'm saying? I'm able to navigate it that way. They'll you know, they'll warn me like, no, nah, we don't really Fuck with bro and them. <laughs> right. Shit, I ain't know. But again, it's all music at the end of the day, bro. I fuck with all types of music, all type of, you know, I ain't into none of the beefs and no shit like that. Right. How, uh, with your project, like, did he have, um, have you played him the project yet? Nah, he hasn't, he hasn't heard it. Okay, he hasn't heard he it. He hasn't yet. heard it. No, he hasn't he hasn't heard it. I was gonna say, like, has he had any hand in the creation of... Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. It was, it was just me and my team. Yeah, for sure. He had, but he, like I said, he got that record on there. It's, it's yeah. crazy. What's it's that nice. record called? Uh, Two Gone. And it's something that my fans been waiting on for a minute now, so I'm excited for them to hear this shit. It's like one of those samples that you've had out, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. out there for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. They've been waiting on it. That's exciting. So why did we pick the um, dedication beat today? Uh, I, I've been fucking with Nip, man. Nip, Nip, Nip is hard. And I just seen that documentary, too, that he got out um, on YouTube and shit. So it's like, damn, like, that shit is just, like, motivation. Like, I don't know. It just gave me that feeling today. Oh, God. It just gave me that feeling. Right. Um. Oh, I meant to say this too when I was asking you when we were talking about um why being the album. You said mm. he's a Jay Z of this generation. Yeah. Why do you feel like he's a Jay Z? Because I feel like that's a hot topic right now too. Yeah. Because you saw the whole Meek Mill thing and whatnot. Yeah, why do you up. feel like? Well, I guess why for younger generation, right? Yeah. Um, why do you feel like Wabi is the Jay Z of this generation? Yeah, I stamped that man just because of his influence and his impact for real. Like everything. YB says, like, it's, it's hitting the media, like, oh, he did this, like, you know what I'm saying? He's very impactful, um, 
very consistent with his music and just I don't know he just give me that you know he he's also somebody who's vulnerable and talks about where he's from a lot like mm-hmm. you know Jay Z talk about Marcy you know YB talk about where he's from and uh, he pay homage to it everywhere that he go you know yeah. what I'm saying so I don't know he on top right now that's that's yeah I stamped that he did, definitely did Jay Z for sure you know who I want to see on the project with you who that Drizzy Drizzy oh P. man, yeah, that'd be crazy. Drizzy Shout P. out to Jersey P, man, for real. That's my boy. That's my boy. We've been tapped in for a minute now too. He actually, um, I didn't even know. Like I came across him. I went to the Louisiana Fest. I think it was last year. Okay, word. That's why I first met him and shit. But he had been tapped into my music for a while, and he's dope as hell. We got some records and shit too. So it's gonna be fire when y'all hear that shit. Yeah, shout out Jersey P. Right. I wanted to ask you about Janae Eichel, right? Because one of the songs you dropped was her favorite Janae Eichel song, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, well, one, what's your favorite Janae Eichel song? Uh, I don't know. That's a good That's a good one. I like Worse. That's the name of oh, it, right? Worse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's probably my what, favorite Where did song. the inspiration for that come from, for that record? The, the shorty that I was fucking with at the time. <laughs> <laughs> she loved that record, uh, Ways. Okay. By 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 Janelle. Go yeah. She even. I went with her when I went to go get this. I went to go get this tattoo of my 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 homegirl who passed away. She went and got the mm-hmm. the Ways tattoo. But yeah, um, yeah, that was her favorite joint. And when I it's a lot of times when I make music and I want people to hear it, like you know what I'm saying. Like for example, this song, like this something that I wanted her to hear. Like I'm low key throwing shots at her and shit like that. I knew that she would. Go to it, you know what I'm saying? She scrolled and she like her face. Like I knew that she would go to that shit. So that's just me being toxic, trying to. Oh, you cutting <laughs> just like me? You cutting just like me for real? I like that. Trying to make sure that she hear the shit and um, also too like just the the message of it, you know, in ways, um, you know, Janaya goes talking about, you know, like why aren't you smiling now and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm basically saying in the record, like you know, you not fuck with me no more. This what you wanted. Like why the fuck you not smiling now? Like what's up? Like. Mm. Like basically, yeah. So the record came about after shit. y'all broke up. Yeah, 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 hell yeah. But we didn't broke up about fucking eight times already. So. <laughs> oh god, yo, I need you to do better, my boy. <laughs> eight times is crazy. I'm Breaking the up... problem, bro. For real. I don't. You're fucking the problem. Know you. I, I, I don't You're fucking... the problem. I don't know, bro. It's nah, crazy. break. Uh, hold on, hold on. I need to unpack this a little bit. Breaking up with someone eight times is crazy. When was the last time y'all got back together? I'm sorry, I'm gonna play your therapist for like five <laughs> seconds. When was the last time y'all got back together? Recently? Uh, I. Month ago, two months ago, but that shit didn't crash already. Like, wait, you know, when like, did the song come? Wait, let me write, let me see when the song came out real quick. Hold on, bro. Know. But you know, I recorded that record last year, like type shit, and since then, it's crazy, bro. The song came out April twenty eighth, right? <laughs> so hold on, I'm doing the math. I'm I'm, I'm matching this up. So it's May thirtieth. So the song came out a month ago. Yeah. Right? So when we recording this, it was about a month ago the song mm-hmm. came out. So the song came out while y'all were to, still together. Type shit, yeah, yeah. Facts. Did she? Did y'all break up? Yeah, I was. Actually, she liked the song. <laughs> oh, she liked the song. Yeah, she liked the That's song. That's why y'all broke up. Yeah, nah, nah, <laughs> nah. She liked the record. How but, long? Uh, eight times. Yeah, about close, bro. For real. It's we, probably more than there. that. Once you get to eight, you gotta yeah, stop counting. Yeah, possibly, bro. For real. R- r- crazy situation. <laughs> you said what? After yeah, <laughs> no, like honestly, after the third or fourth time, you gotta stop counting. Shit, no. We break up every damn week. For real, it's crazy. But um, I'm healing. I'm healing. <laughs> I'm like, hey, look, my brother. I need you. I, after I'm this healing. project come out, I need you to just block I her got, number. Yeah, I got. <laughs> I need you to just block her number because clearly this girl is not is not for you the way the way nah, that you think it is. Nah, nah. But I'm in a way better mood though, for real. Like I said, I had the project out and I'm I'm able to express, you know, what I'm saying shit yeah. like that. I'm in a, I'm in a way better. If mood. I'm at your release party when the project come out and, she, and they bo- and all three of them look at me and they're like. They go like that to me, and, and like I see you with the girl. I'm gonna be like, nah, I ain't no way so, nah, yeah, nah, I, I, nah. Ain't no way he did this. I'm learning, bro. I'm growing. That's the whole idea of this project. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning. I'm growing. I'm able to be vulnerable, put this in the music, and and self reflect. You know, in situations where I went wrong, and, and grow from it. I'm growing. You and Boogie really twins, huh? Type shit. <laughs> <laughs> we be going through the same shit, bro. I swear to God. I literally started thinking that as we were talking about this. Bruh. I'm like, damn, he and Boogie really. Fake same person. Bro, I'm telling you, we be going through the same shit. I didn't have phone calls with him, I'm like, bro, I'm going through the shit, like, nigga, me too, like, bro, it be yeah. the same shit, I just bro. posted this boogie, a boogie meme the other day, too, on my show. Hold on, I'm going to show you, because it's, it's how I was feeling, right? Yeah. Um, Hold on. Yeah, we be in our feelings, bro. Oh, hold on, nah. It's, it's a, I'm a, I'm, hopefully, when I remember to put it right here, it's a, it's his girl commenting on his IG live when he was outside. Hold on, where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is it? I put the, oh, do I not have it in here? Oh, I didn't add it to this slide. Hold on. Hold what on. What she said? Hold on. She called him a bird. 
What the? She called him. She called him a burn. I'm like, this is my move for the weekend. Damn, I can't find it. But it was, it, it was, it was like him on IG Live. He was driving, and she like, and she called him a bird. She's like, oh, you outside? Ah, right, you being a bird right now? And I was like, damn, I felt this. Nah, wait. But you and Boogie really, really be going through the same. So, so how does yeah. Boogie give you relationship advice while I look for this meme? Um, I'm not sure nah. that's like the best person to ask for relationship <laughs> advice, but nah, but pretty much the same thing anybody will say, man. We, I got a lot going on right now. I can't, I don't really have too much time to focus on shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It helps with making cool music, but when I'm really in my feels about this shit, it ain't, it ain't a good thing. I'm fucking weak. Yeah, she walked. <laughs> she walked. Oh, let's screenshot that for later. Yeah, she But I was about crazy. to say, you got mad shit going on, bro. You got to focus up. You know, yeah, you yeah, can have a girl, but like, you can't have a girl who is beefing with you. Yeah, yeah, thanks. I got way too much shit going on, bro. For real. To be dealing with that type of shit. You're the problem. You're the problem. For real. <laughs> Audrey the cameras, you're the problem. <laughs> it felt a little more personal that time he said it though. I go a lot. So okay, so we got uh, we got a young boy in the project. We got Boogie on the project. Anybody yeah. else that we got that we can talk about? Oh, yeah, your people, your people yeah, from yeah, back my, home. My homeboys from back town. Who's, who who, who uh, producing on it? Anybody that we might? Uh, know? Yeah, I got Mitch Mula on there. Shout out Mitch Mula. Yeah, shout out Mitch Mula. That's my boy. Uh, I got Royce David on there. Cool. Royce David is cool as hell. Um, who else? Um, and from back home, I got number one, who's um, a little. Production team I, I kind of found, you know what I'm saying? Tight. That boy is hard as hell. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be crazy. Word, man. Well, I'm looking forward to everything. By the time y'all yeah. see this part two freestyle, now go check that out. Yeah. Um, you're the problem on the way, so make sure to check that out when that's out. Yeah. Uh, before we get out of here, my brother, anything else you want to let the people know where they can follow you at, all that good stuff? Now yeah. it's time to do with this camera right here. Yo, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at R-J-A-E-R-A-P, Twitter, Facebook, all that. You're the problem album on the way. Um, it's coming real, real soon. I'm so excited. Happy to put this project. I know y'all been waiting on it for a minute. So, yeah, it's going to be fire. There you go. Right, Make sure you go follow it. him. Go run up everything he has out now. Yeah, go yeah. watch part one. Go watch part two. Um, go show him some love. Go show him some support. Love is free. Sport is free. But child, I knew that. Till next time, RJ on the radar. We out. Bow. My guy. Love. Love, bro.